Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be celebrating the 4th of July. That's right. Yeah, I got my uh, American flag out and ready to go. So, uh, hope you guys are ready to join me as, um, you know, I show you around the house and uh, <laughs> we do this thing, all right? So, all right, in today's episode, we're actually going to um, have a little bit of a different approach. In fact, what I'm going to be doing today is that I'm actually going to be filming on my big camera. Here, let me show you the big camera for one second. So, this is the original camera that I bought a while ago. Um, I want to say, you know, around 2015, give or take, when I first got into YouTube. Um, when I first wanted to do, you know, this whole YouTube thing. Um, if you want some more reference, just go to my YouTube page and go all the way, you know, to, you know, scroll all the way down to my first videos ever. Um, and around video number five or six or something like that, you're going to start seeing the use of this camera. So what happened? Well, first of all, you know, like you, already, you guys already know the story. I basically kind of like fell in love with this whole camera um, editing stuff and, you know, just doing videos on YouTube. And uh, I just decided to take it up a notch. And so I bought equipment. Um, I used to watch this guy named Casey Neistat. He used to be an awesome uh, YouTuber. He used to make, uh, you know, pretty much videos every day. And I decided, well, you know what? I want to try and do the same thing. And so I bought this equipment and I started doing uh, vlogs. And then basically that's how I started falling in love with doing everything I do right now. So, you know, fast forward, uh, I don't know, I guess five years later, <laughs> I'm here. And uh, now I'm living in Mexico. Um, this is where I spend most of my time. Um, you guys already follow my adventures, um, whether it's on this channel or on my other channel where it's me living out here in Mexico. Um, all the links are down below, so just check them out. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, just um, life has uh, brought us, you know, a very long way. So, I mean, basically in today's episode, we're going to be celebrating the 4th of July. I know I should have mentioned that. I don't know how long ago should have mentioned that like two or three minutes ago. Right. But Regardless, I mentioned it now, all right? Bruh. So, <laughs> no, anyways. <laughs> but the point I'm making is that today is the 4th of July. I'm uploading this on the 4th of July. Why? Because at the end of the day, I'm an American born and raised in the US of A, and I'm proud to be an American. Proud to be an American. That's, that's as far as I can go without getting copyrighted. America. Anyways, so, <laughs> speaking of which, um, that's it. You know what I mean? Now, today's episode, I'm just going to tell you as uh, what a typical day in the life of me as an American living abroad is like. Um, because at the end of the day, I love my country and all that good stuff. And I might live in a in a house in Mexico uh, with, uh, you know, a communist horse. Hey, how's it going? Sup, motherfuckers? I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Well, actually, I see you guys every Wednesday. Don't forget to check out the Wednesday live streams every single Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Central. 11 a.m. Eastern Central. Thanks. Thanks for... Gotta love this guy. Anyways, so yeah, as you guys already know, if you guys watch me, uh, my live stream is on Wednesdays. Uh, shameless plug time. Then you already know what's up. You know what I mean? You get to see him in the background, you know, chilling, you know, giving me all the information. He's like my Jamie to the Joe Rogan podcast. He's like uh, that, all right? So, anyways... Um, as you guys already know, I haven't used this camera in a long time. I use it from time to time whenever I'm making certain videos and I'm going out and about or when I used to film here on a regular basis. But actually, I'm going to show you right now a little bit of a tour of my house and um, you're going to see why um, I need to move, okay, because I'm running out of space here. And, um, you know, basically, again, you know, t I'm making this video for on the 4th of July and I'm not doing anything corny or anything like that where I'm just like throwing fireworks or waving the flag or anything like that. No, um, to me, you know, I'm just celebrating freedom and liberty, which is what we should be celebrating today on the 4th of July. So with that being said, um, that's what I'm going to show you right now, because uh, unfortunately, probably a lot of you guys, um, a lot of you guys that really worship you know freedom and liberty you guys are enjoying your fourth of july right now you know out there getting a barbecue going to the pool and the beach whatever but for a lot of you guys well 
that's a thing of the past. You know, you have been told to stay indoors unless you're doing X, Y, Z. And, uh, you know, you're probably not celebrating your 4th of July, unfortunately. And you're having, you know, not a good, not a good as a 4th of July as you would like. And so, you know, with that being said, you know, I'm glad that I'm out here. I'm living out here um, for, you know, during this whole f situation, this pandemic, this whatever um, that's happening during... Uh, 2020 because we're at the halfway point of 2020 guys this is halftime and we're losing four to four to nothing all right so the, the point is is that you know yeah this is i'm just going to show you guys around uh, kind of like my house a typical day in my life uh, during this whole pandemic and uh, just to show you what's up and what i do around here so you know without further ado let's uh get upstairs let's start from the bottom and make our way all the way to the bottom Bruh. right top, make make start at the top make our way to the bottom Anyways, all right, so there's the stairs, and we're going to go upstairs, and uh, we're going to see what's going on up there, and uh, we're going to catch you guys once we're up there. You don't need to see the whole walk-in process. All right, guys, so we're upstairs, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, my life up here. Now, as you guys are already fully aware, um, or if not, you're aware now, um, I got married to my sweetheart. She's all the way over there, painting. I'm gonna go see her in a second. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we got married about six months ago and uh, um, we were gonna move out um, basically as soon as we got married, but as soon as we got married, the whole pandemic started and uh, she just had to come in and move in with me. Sorry about the noise, there's some construction going on next door. You might not be able to see it, but. That, oh yeah, it's too bright, sorry. But regardless, uh, yeah, you guys have seen it in other videos. If you've seen that construction that's going on next door, that big building that they're building, uh, that hotel. Anyways, back to what I was saying. As I was saying, um, basically, what we're doing over here is that we're living together in this uh, tiny little home because we got married around uh, the time of the pandemic. Uh, if you guys uh, want more reference, check out the other channel so you can see, uh, you know, the whole thing. You know, the wedding video that I made, filmed, what have you. Um, so. We just, uh, we were supposed to move into a bigger house um, and start our lives and all that good stuff, but unfortunately we couldn't. Too many things got in the way and um, the people where we were supposed to move into, the house wasn't ready, long story. The point is, is that it doesn't matter. You know, we moved in together and we've been living here since and we're about to move out in a month. Uh, basically about, man, I don't know, uh, about a month from the time you see this. Uh, so August, we're gonna be out of here. So this is gonna be one of the last videos you know made in this house i've already made several videos here in this house but yeah you know um i just wanted to also make this video for reference you know what i mean just because of uh you know where i am at you know this is why i started uh making these videos to begin with you know in a sense you know kind of like to you know um chronologically uh uh document my life you know have like a big uh giant journal a video journal of my life and the adventures i've been on and it's uh you know it's crazy to look back at the older videos and it's even crazier you know um you know when i'm thinking about the fact that i'm going to be seeing this in the future so anyways i know right trying a little mind fuck there so all right so i'm going to show you a little bit what's going on over here so this is the home and again you know it's messy as hell because it's just it is what it is but we got the missus over here doing some work look at that now, if you want to see more videos of her doing some work and all that good stuff, check out the channel, all right? But um, as you guys can see, maybe not, but right there is um, the little GoPro. And uh, she is just um, using that GoPro, you know, to make some uh, videos for her own, uh, you know, promotions on her own Instagram and her own channel and her own stuff like that. And um, in fact, um, I'm going to provide the links to all that down below, okay? ChristianCook.com. All the, linkers, all the links are down below, um, so you can check out all her art and everything she does. But as you guys, I'm going to show you a little bit here. So right there, that painting, she submitted that for a competition in Mexico City. And um, she got picked. So she's going to have an exhibition there. And then that is the video. <laughs> I mean, not the video, sorry. No, no, no. no sorry. Um, but that is, uh, I didn't mean to disturb her. I'm just so loud. She hears me through there. But anyways, but that is the painting. I'm just trying to get it inside her, um, you know what I mean? Her time-lapse video thing she's making. But as you guys can see there, it's not finished yet. She's still working on it. But that is uh, that, that painting got chosen to um, appear in an exhibition in the Mexico City for the Day of the Dead. And um, 
So most likely we're going to be in Mexico City for November, October, November, and celebrating the Day of the Dead over there. So um, as you guys can see, she's made a little bit of a makeshift studio here. All right. And these are paintings that she has for, again, other clients and, and just um, other competitions and other things like that. But she has these busy, busy. There's like many paintings back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight behind this one. And then that one. So that's just what she has here. But she even has more work there. You know, that's a tattoo that she just, um, literally, the they just got that tattoo tattooed on them uh, a couple days ago. She's, they sent us a video of that, too. So that was pretty cool. So um, this is her, you know, her, her whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah, and then there's another one over there. So that's like 10. All right. So anyways, guys, all right. So uh, that's what she's doing. So just to show you a little bit of our lives and uh, what's going on out here. And boy, is it hot. Look at me. Oof. Sweating balls. Let me see. All right. So. Now we're here, we're gonna head downstairs, all right? So let's do this. All right, let me see if I can uh, keep my eyes from going, but it was very hot. I usually wear just my uh, sweatshirt, you know, just my wife beater. But um, since it's so, I mean, since I'm doing a video, I decided to wear a t-shirt so I don't look horrible, that horrible. So anyways, give me one second so I can wipe myself up. So we're gonna cut here. Huh, but you weren't expecting me. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour of my house and just, um, I don't know, I guess just uh, tell you what's up. Because, you know, basically right now, as you're watching this, you know, most likely if you're watching this on 4th of July, I'm gonna be in the backyard, in the pool. Here, let me show you a clip. We're just gonna be enjoying ourselves, having some drinks, you know, smoking some herbs, uh, just doing it, you know what I mean? Hanging out, you know, you already know what's up. So, um, I wanted to make a video to, again, just a 4th of July video, man, you know what I mean? We gotta do a 4th of July video, so I was just thought to give you some guys some like life updates and all that good stuff, all right? So, since I know a lot of you guys care about these things, so, and show you guys a little bit around the place and all that. And by the way, I know you guys are probably asking yourselves, or, or probably before you even, ask me the question hey is your place going to be available and all that good stuff you know since you're moving out of it well guess what yes um i've already been inquired about this many times and so guess what there's already somebody else going to be moving in here as soon as i move out so sorry guys all right so let's get to the tour so you know basically this is this is it you know we hold on i know it's very bright So this is what it looks like outside. You guys have seen my outside many times before, but usually I'm uh, with my other camera, but this time I'm using the big camera so you guys can see a little bit of the difference uh, in quality. But we were just inside the house. We were just showing you upstairs. And now I'm gonna show you the rest of the house. Yeah, sorry about all that, uh, all that, uh, whatchamacallit, the, it's not easy playing with this camera because this camera is like, uh, professional camera so with the whole lighting situation and all that takes a while Oop. plus it's very heavy to carry and there's so many other variables see like now it's very dark so I got to do this you know in order to anyway so this camera's great and I use it for all kinds of stuff um, I still use it for work and for fun and all got and all that stuff you know like on my nighttime this is the camera to go um, I have another lens for this and stuff like that but you know for vlogging you know what I mean if I'm gonna be walking around and doing the things that I do on a regular basis the little GoPro that's the way to go, you know what I mean? Not this huge thing, you know what I mean? This thing is just, uh, and it's and on its own, it weighs so much, it's not even funny. So, all right, so back to what we were, you know, get a little bit of the tour of the house. So, you see, this painting right here was painted by the fabulous Christian, you know, upstairs. You got Lambo hanging out down there on the couch, you know, you already know, sleeping on the couch, lazy guy. Um, we got the pool there. That's that blue thing that's deflated that we're going to inflate that on uh, 4th of July morning and get some burgers going and uh, all that good stuff. Miracle. 
Um, and then this is the rest of the house. So, you know, basically, you know, I got my house is full. If you go upstairs in the closet, I'm not going to show you everything, you know, obviously, but I got stuff for clients, as you see here. I got some bags, you know what I mean, that I'm holding for some clients, you know, as they do their thing. You know, this is just the boxes of other stuff, you know, just work related things. I got the bike that I got to keep in here because otherwise the weather's going to destroy it outside. Um, this is the box that used to be on the back of that, you know what I mean? Um, then we got the couch, you know, we got this little thing here, you know, with, uh, you know, where we keep our fruits and our vegetables. You know, these are pumpkins that we eat out here. We got some beets, which I got to cook. So I'm going to do that later. All right, so I'm just showing you there. You know, um, I keep some stuff here. Look at that, American Eagle. I'm sure you want to see that. This is a gift from a good friend. Look at that. Isn't that a beaut? I'm sure you can see it. Anyways, but, so yeah. There's a bunch of candies that Christian bought at the market the other day so she can give to grandma. Peanuts. And uh, just various uh, things, you know, we got water, we got the horse head, whatever we always kept in the piñata for my birthday. So I know it's pretty dark, let me see if I can... And then we got, um, we got some honey in here, that's what that is. We got the microphone that I use when I do my live streams, there's a bunch of stuff. This is the office where I work, you know, there's a little mascot, his name is Little Caesar. Hey, what's up guys? And so, uh, you know, just, just this is only for reference purposes in the future, um, in case you guys, uh, we ever do some sort of uh, Easter egg type stuff, okay? Because not many people are gonna know him, but he's like kind of like the official mascot of the house. So not this guy. This guy's the official mascot of uh, the channel. This guy's the official mascot of the house, all right? So, just uh, fully aware. I'm the boss. Anyways, all right, so, you know, this is the shirt that a fan made for me a very long time ago um, when I was first doing this stuff. Still holds uh, pretty true. I got my office. This is where I work all the time. I'm here like 80%, 75% of my day. All right, I think you guys can see there. You know, that's the, the other channel. Don't forget to check out the other channel. All right. But this is my view most of the day right here. This is what my view. I'm just here working, all right? Just working, doing my thing. Uh, I get to look outside. It's, I know it's very bright, but I get to see outside, you know? My coffee. And that's it, it's kind of like my typical day, you know? My little office out here doing my thing. And um, yeah, you know, this is the kitchen. Again, it's everything so cramped and, and just, we don't have, any, and we're, I mean, very organized and trying to keep everything together, but still, it's very hard. It's kind of like the kitchen situation here all right there's the outside you guys already know anyways but yeah it's a little bit of the house tour guys just wanted to show you guys around and then you know we got the fridge look at this I get to keep it all nice and stocked up out here in Mexico you know what I mean because things are so cheap cheap all right look at this you guys remember this when we did that so and that's it, you know what I mean? We got the, that's it, just the living, living life out here. You already know what's up. So, so, the reason I'm making this video, the real reason I'm really making this video is because as you guys already know what I make on this channel, um, you guys are probably expecting some sort of, uh, you know, um, just a little bit of a different kind of uh, episode, I guess, an episode uh, talking about the things that I normally talk about on this channel. But you know, I, I, the thing is, I wanted to focus on something positive for once as opposed to something negative. And so I wanted to show you guys a little piece of my heaven, a little piece of uh, my version of freedom and liberty, okay? Which is, uh, right this moment in time, living out here, you know, being out here in my uh, brand new adopted country. Oops. <laughs> And a little bit of symbolism there as I drop the flag as well. But hey, you know what? The reality is, is that this has dropped us, okay? And uh, it, it's no no hard feelings or anything like that. But um, the reality is, I said, like I said, I'd rather my mama taught me if uh, you ain't not you ain't got nothing nice to say, 
just don't say nothing nice at all or something like that <laughs> the point is is that like uh, yeah I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of a you know taste of what my day is like you know uh, what life for me is like out here um, at the end of this video okay I'm gonna put a link okay um, you know one of the videos suggested to you after you watch a video I'm gonna put a link to the video the first video that I ever filmed out here you know basically the first day that I came out here on um, my journey from uh, Los Angeles you know um, all the way to Merida Mexico and um, and you know just to give you some context and a little bit more of uh, what's going on over here and um, some of you guys know my full story some of you guys this might be your first video and your first time here um, some of you guys have been watching me for a little bit some of you guys have been watching me since Seattle five years ago um, <clears throat> but the point is is that we're here you know we made it through um, this long journey um, there's so much more left to go um, as uh, a good majority of the world that the country is going through turmoil or they're you know right now in some sort of a lockdown or what have you and all these things are going on you know I can actually sit here in peace and be very happy with the things that I'm doing and the life that I'm living and not worry too much about the things that are going on and, and unfortunately I know that that's not the same for you, all of you guys uh, you know how ironic that I'm here in a foreign country um, why well, I got stuck out here in a foreign country I mean because look I wanted to be out here and uh, live out here and uh, this is my home now but you know the reality is is that you know during this whole situation um, I could have been uh, you know back home and I decided to stay here um, and I'm glad I'm writing it out here you know more than anything else um, and uh, yeah it's just kind of crazy you know it really is kind of crazy seeing the whole thing develop and uh, you know as I'm sitting here I'm very I feel very blessed very happy as I'm sitting here making this video there are so many more expats you know what I mean uh, clients of mine that are either on their way out here or already out here or you know what I mean like literally landing or crossing the border as we speak within you know either you know the, the the this you know today as like for real literally today as I'm filming this and the next subsequent days and you know even the day that you're watching this and beyond uh, there's so many people that are coming out here and uh, this is only the beginning of the max mass exodus you know that's gonna start happening out here and uh, you gotta remember guys even though Mexico's Mexico it's still North America when you come out here to Mexico Mexicans consider themselves American so when you you as an American come to Mexico and say oh I'm American you know that's a little bit kind of an insult to some some Mexicans if not, if not most because they also consider themselves American and if uh, you're familiar with a uh, majority of the Mexican continent and uh, the Mexican uh, con uh, country um, the Mexican uh, people and the culture you realize like wow they're they're you know they're almost more like us than Canadians you know um, or you know in a sense we're all kind of like the same so that's the the truth and again I apologize for the noise coming from outside I know you know horrible horrible but you know that goes to show you as also the, the sign of the times as to what's going on out here and what's going on over there you know everyone out here is already basically coming out of lockdown and they ain't going back under lockdown and it's uh, funny because like everybody's going out to work at the same time everybody's just going out and uh, you know just going back to life as usual pretty much all at the same time like it or not and um, that's why all of a sudden you're seeing so much more noise so much more everything and all that good stuff. No, man, you're just a fucking horrible har um, engineer. You know, you're just a horrible sound engineer, brother. You know, you could have very easily just closed that door and um, turned on the fan and um, it would have been better. But actually, no, no, Lambo, you don't know because that would have been a worse noise and, and I'm telling you, it would have been a worse situation. I could have put on a windsock, I could have done many things, but you know what, it's already in the past and we're here in the future. And uh, that goes to my next point. The next point is that like, don't regrets. Don't ever have any regrets in anything you're doing, whether it's uh, filming a vlog, like whatever it is I'm doing here, um, filming these videos or anything you do in life. You know, you're gonna be making mistakes, you're gonna have ups and downs, you're gonna go through many things, but the reality is is that like it's up to you um, whether it's a good experience or a bad experience and the symbol is that you control your universe you control your world anyone out there that's uh, you know actively complaining about the fact that they are in a bad situation well guess what you know what I mean use that energy and fuel to get yourself out of that situation because if you remain in that situation it's only your fault 
a little hint of the Monday motivations I used to do and all that stuff. So, anyways, guys, I think I made a long enough episode here. I'm just going to, you know, um, end it here so I can edit this video, so I can upload it, so you guys can watch it on the 4th of July. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really do hope that, you know, you, you just, I know, you know what, I don't hope, I know you guys enjoy it, and I don't want to sound pompous or anything like that, but you know what, that's why I do these videos, and I show you my life, and I'm so candid, and I'm so open, and I'm the way I am, because... You guys, you know, love me and hate me for exactly who I am. And you guys tell me to my face, just like I tell you to your face. And uh, there's a lot of you guys that really love me for me. And uh, guess what? I love you for you. And uh, and it's even more evident when we actually meet in person. Because as you guys already know, we do that all the time. So, guys, you guys are awesome. I love you to death. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really hope that you guys have an amazing 4th of July. I'm going to definitely have an amazing 4th of July no matter what. All right, I got my pool inflated. You know, I'm going to get my pool inflated, all right? You already know what's up. All right, I get my, you know, uh, hamburgers cooked on my grill. Um, I'm going to get my beers. I'm going to get my alcohol. I'm going to wave my American flag, all right, with my Mexican wife. And we're just going to be out here, you know, enjoying it, all right? And, uh... You know, hot dogs, you know, I don't know if we're going to have hot dogs or not. You know, we'll let you know later. But the point is, is that we're definitely going to have an all-American, uh, all-inclusive, you know, American holiday out here. And, uh, again, you know, we're not just celebrating freedom and independence for the America. But in a sense, you know, we're celebrating freedom and independence for the whole world. Because, remember, our founding fathers were the ones that got us here to begin with. All right? So, you know. You already know what I have to say about all that. I'm not going to get off on my rant right now. Uh, I'm ready to wrap this up. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, you already know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Um, check out the podcast, okay? Check out all the links below. Check out the other channel. Check out the website. Check out, you know, everything, all right? I offer services. I do all kinds of stuff. And guess what, guys? More than anything else, I fucking love you guys, right? Because guess what? You love me and, uh, you know, nothing homo here. Again, nothing wrong with that. Just, uh trying to be funny Bruh. guys thanks again for watching hope you guys stay awesome hope you guys enjoy your fourth of july and uh i'll see you guys manana or actually i'll see you guys on wednesday actually i'll see you guys whenever you want i got a million videos just click on the next video bye Awesome.